is an all pro, three time All American, first time world champion under the slap shot uh, uh, negotiation rules. He has been uh, a pro personified, but I'm afraid that his team is not good enough to bring him to the heights that he is once accustomed to, Bill. I, I, I'm afraid totally that he, he will have to suffer years and years of depression uh, under the blue team because the blue team is just too goddamn good. I can see that, Cod. It just comes down to the game's changing. It always changes, and that's all I have to do. That's, adapt. that's all we can do. <laughs> I can see that, Cod. <laughs> I totally got to agree with you. We're I going down geez. to the coaches on the bench now. I'm sorry to interrupt Bill Cutter. This is breaking news. Coach, what did you have to say after tonight's game? Well, after tonight's game, we're going to go ahead and be releasing Neil Rackers, the giant in pants, looking for Litecoin. Uh, we're going to be uh, looking at some new prospects, possibly from the red team. They seem to be a better fit for our uh, end goal, which is winning. Uh, that's about all we have to say today. Uh, coach, 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 coach. <laughs> Coach, do you feel like that maybe the Giant would need to be uh, replaced immediately because uh, six goals to nothing has really, really dampened this team? Do you feel like if you switch the Giant only, would you be able to compete next year, Coach? Well, here's the thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna shoot straight with you here. We're, uh, we told him to go fuck himself, and he needs to resign to the NHL. <laughs> he does not deserve a place in the NHL. He, j it, the net. It's not for him. Maybe on the bench behind with the water bottle, and that might do him something. Do him well. <laughs> now, as for pants and rackers, they just they seem to have the chemistry. It just doesn't seem like they have the stick skill down uh, at this particular time. Um, the red team could probably train them pretty well if if we become friends with them, but I, I don't really think that's gonna happen because they're assholes. Um, blue team, uh, blue team is just falling apart this year. We're gonna have to reset next year. Um, any further questions? Coach, there's one last question here we have for you. Neil Rackers once was on schedule and was on pace to break the great, the great Neil Crosby for his goals in an offseason with mixture with uh, a talented uh, roster. Do you believe that Neil Rackers once again can come back and dominate like he once did with your team, Coach? Yeah, I, I feel like that's definitely possible. We're going to probably... They're probably going to have to go back to the prospect leagues for a little bit, another season or two. Um, I feel like once they get the stick skill down and they get the... You know, we get a better goalie. Maybe maybe Rivera's brother. But... but uh... Oh, uh, Rivera's brother. I heard about him. Now, Coach, I have to ask you one more question now. Rivera's brother. He has been... He's been on record for being one of the most dynamic players in this league. But he has problems... Currently, he has problems with long pants, man, uh, and the lack of THC. Can you explain that, sir? Uh, no comment on the THC. Um, now, for the chemistry between pants. <laughs> I feel like if we give Rivera's brother a chance, I don't even know what his name is. If we give him a chance on the forward position, we might be a little bit better. We might put pants in the pocket, and we'll, we'll see what's going on with that. I feel like maybe we might give Pants and Rackers one more chance, and we'll see what happens here. But we're going to tune in next time on that one. No more, no further questions. That's, that's all I got today. Copy that, Coach. I say we get to the next game. What, a fine game? Is that what?